Intruder! Enemy alert! Intruder! Hurry! Hurry! Get him! The perfect fishing spot. Silverbacks are swimming upstream right now. Look, all you have to do is reach out and grab them. Oh, your perfect spot doesn't seem so perfect to me. The current Forget is strong. Forget your clever traps and tricks. Just look and learn. And you know, those fish are you very... You see, Ramon, that's your problem. You think too much. Hunting is about instinct, flair, speed. <laughs> Those fish are very, very big, is what I was trying to say. Uh, uh, No one dies today, not here. I am Rahan, son of Krau. Whenever you raise your hand to strike another man, I will stop you. You are a brave warrior, Sangha. But are you brave enough to face the misfortune coming our way? Misfortune is nothing new to me, Drac. Ever since the cave dwellers took my eye and my wife. True, you have suffered greatly. But being wounded in battle or losing your loved one will soon seem like nothing compared to the horror that lies ahead. Do you wish to see him? The master of our destruction? Look, see the true face of our suffering. I've never seen anyone fight like you. You saved my life. You are now my brother. Whatever you want, it is yours. How about your name? I am Enoch, son of Moko. My father is chief of the Wolf Clan. All the land you see, from the tops of the mountains to where the river meets the plain, all this is our territory. That's great, kid. But if you really want to impress me, you'll have some food in your bag. Hiding makes me hungry. Hmm. hmm. Those who were chasing you, do they believe the valley belongs to you? Who cares what the cave dwellers believe? They're dogs. Not even dogs, slugs. I think I'm beginning to understand the problem. Yesterday, I met some hunters from your clan, and- And you will meet them again. My clan is your clan now. Come. I would like that. Let us go. The Wolf Clan will be proud to share their meal with you. The food better be good. That's all I'm saying. Rahan. Grab him! He's the one! We will wash away the stranger's evil with his own blood. Stop, Sangha! This man is my brother. I am the one who measures insult and punishment. Speak in turn, both of you. Sangha? He is the one. The stranger who stopped us from killing the Cave Dweller's Witch. He has come to destroy us. And he saved your son's life. The Cave Dwellers were chasing me and he... Oh, if you could have seen him, Father, just with a stick, he... I do not understand. Are you with us or against us? Yesterday, four of your hunters attacked a young blind woman. I protected her. Today, four men tried to attack your son, and I did the same because I was taught... I was taught that those who walk upright must not kill each other. According to our laws, 
I must kill you for saving the witch and owe you my life for saving my son. You are a problem, Hair of Fire, but you are an interesting problem. I have made my decision. Welcome to the Wolf Clan Village. <laughs> Look, Noama, this is the little god our enemies bow before and pray to for victory. I crept into their village, to the very heart of their cavern, and stole it. I stole it for you, Noama, so you would know me as the bravest warrior in our clan. Or maybe the luckiest. If Rahan hadn't been there. Rahan helped, of course, but I could have handled them on my own. I am a greater warrior than you think. Dead land. That is all that will remain of the Wolf Clan if we do not fight the one who bears this evil. Rahan carries disaster like others carry fever. Rahan shall be our undoing. Your smoke shows only what could happen. What will happen if you do not act? You cannot be sure. Rahan is a child. He's too young to bring about such destruction. Age has nothing to do with it. I see what the eye cannot. I have been to the Shadowlands and back. Never doubt my powers. Rahan has the darkest of destinies. The sorry creatures who gave him life were ripped apart by a savage Gorak. Their remains were devoured by crows. And then, the fire. Fire burst out of the earth and swallowed up the Blue Mountain people who adopted him. Hear this, Mogo. Here, the people of the flames swallowed up. Without tongues, without throats, yet they beseech us. Rid yourselves of Rahan. Disaster and chaos are his only companions. He is cursed. What must I do? This is the only way, Mogo. Be careful. One scratch and you're finished. I've never seen anyone wield a stick like that, Rahan. Where did you learn such a skill? A hunter will learn lessons everywhere, if he knows where to look. Teach me. <laughs> You'd be disappointed. After what I saw? Oh, come on. Show me. Very well. Lesson one. See how this stick has no sharp end, no blade? This is the weapon for those who do not wish to kill. All life is precious, cave dwellers and wolf clan. All those who walk upright. Can you stop killing, Enoch? I believe man is a warrior. He's born to kill, whether by hunting or in battle. If this makes me unworthy of your teachings, Rahan, so be it. But I would still ask for your friendship. You! Rahan was our guest! My friend! Rahan is your friend like the spider is to the fly. I'm not supposed to get my fur wet. Drak showed me the ravages he has caused. Yet you drink his every word like a baby drinks milk. Do you know what the baby did this morning? Something even the boldest of warriors wouldn't dare. Not even you! I slipped into the cave dweller's settlement and stole the statue of their god. What? Ah! Imbecile! Now you tell me this? There will be war. Men will die because a boy wanted to play at being brave. I'm not afraid of cave dwellers. I'm afraid of no one. Not like you, who strikes our guest in the back. Rahan, he, he's gone. 
I told you, he is a demon. today, son of Crow. The day isn't over yet. You have wasted your time, Tetya. For Rahan will end this day in the Shadowlands. You are under my roof, Bakur. Blood must not be spilled here, you know that. But he is the wolf's ally. He stole our idol! We both know Rahan was not the thief. He helped the thief escape! He must die! Well, congratulations. Two chieftains trying to kill you in one day. The future certainly looks bright for us in this valley. Quick question. When are we moving? Oh, and guess what? You know that kid from the Wolf Clan? Y your new best friend? Turns out he stole some precious little statue from the cave dwellers. It's all his fault everyone wants to kill you. Uh, you're full of good news. Was there anything else? Yes. I'm so hungry. Rahan. When I defended the boy, I didn't know he'd stolen. I... I want to repair my mistake. And how shall you do that? By fighting the Wolf Clan when you can barely walk? It would be more merciful if I killed you now. I shall bring back your idol. I swear. If Rahan succeeds, many lives will be spared, Bakur. So be it. By the next sun, the sacred figure must be in my hands, or you will pay. As will the wolves. <gasps> Phew. What can I say? You were brilliant. I shall bring back your idol. You know, I almost believed you. Wrong way, buddy. You keep going that way and we'll run into the wolves. We should be going... Uh... Ah! Hey, wait a minute! Oh! Don't tell me you were serious back there. Are you crazy? You can't take back the statue. They'll kill you. Uh, may I remind you that they've already killed you today? They say that once a man has died, he can never return from the Land of Shadows. But I... <gasps> disagree! Huh? That storyteller last night, how did he do that? He wasn't really dead, was he? <laughs> huh? <laughs> what about the loud fire and the smoke? Huh? Whoa! Magic, Rahan, comes mainly from words. The rest is nothing but illusion. That's it! They already killed me! I'm dead! <laughs> Are you all right? In the head? Whew! I'm going to take that as a big fat no! Today, you would be wise not to try again. But the son of Crow holds no grudge. He comes back from the land of shadows to warn you. Enoch 
has offended the spirit of the weasel. He stole his carved likeness as it stood peacefully among the cave people. Tonight, Enoch must go to the Rock of the Turtle and return the figure, or the gods will arise and take revenge. Look, no blood, nothing. We cannot wage war when the gods are against us. My son, tonight you will do as the spirits ask. And give victory to the cave dwellers? No. We will take our revenge soon enough, Sangha. Have no doubts. on the way. Who did you see? I don't need to see, hear, or smell anything. I used to be a bear, remember? I got instincts, and my instincts are telling me to get my fuzzy butt out of here. But who? A clever warrior, as silent as a snake, and ready to strike again. from the land of shadows, just for me to send you back again. You handle a staff well, son of Krau, but you are not the only one. But I, too, have the speed of the snake. The carved figure. Once again, you find yourself involved. Only this time, it is too late to change your mind. Bakur, do not forget that he saved us from an attack that could well have been fatal to the clan. So, you finally decided to do some real fishing. I could have done it myself, you know. I know. I just wanted to thank the friend who risked his life to help me. And I know how he hates to get his fur wet. Mm. Sangha told us everything. The Wolf Clan seeks revenge. It would be better if you did not show your face around here for a while. Tell us something we don't know. I understand why you fooled the others. But why me? I thought I was your friend. Then you should have told me about the stolen figure. I could have put an end to the trouble there and then. How? By giving me over to those cave animals? No. By returning to the cave dwellers what was rightfully theirs. You have much to learn, Enoch. There are many things you do not care to see. Drek was right. You are a demon. A demon who brings evil to our valley. I have brought nothing but peace to this valley. And I have done so by stopping a war that began with your thievery. Now you tell me, son of Mogo. 
From where does the evil come? Yes, mistress. Our enemy will soon be in your cold hand. Very well, but do not fail this 